Hi everybody, I'm Coach Bob McCreary. In today's video, I'm gonna explain why you cannot develop a changeup in a bullpen. I'll explain when I get back. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm Coach Bob McCreary from BaseballByTheYard.com. I am in a standard Little League complex bullpen. And today's video, as I said, is to explain why you cannot develop a changeup in the bullpen. But first, let me clarify something. There is a difference between practicing a changeup and developing a changeup. I can practice a changeup all day long in the bullpen. I can throw to a catcher, I can fiddle with grips, learn what grips are more comfortable. But the problem is I never fully know how good my changeup is until I start to throw it to live batters. In the bullpen, my changeup may look really good. It may be a good speed differential off my fastball, which is typically what I want to accomplish, make it uh, a much less speed, lower speed than my fastball. It may appear that way, but it only really matters if a live batter doesn't see the changeup or cannot pick up the changeup well. Now I can only do that in a game. I can have a batter stand in and so forth, and that's helpful, but I can't really develop a changeup until I get in the game and I start to throw it during live competition. Only then will you be able to determine what impact your changeup has on live hitters. Are they taking it confidently? Which means they're somehow picking it up out of my hand. They can see my grip, my arm angle changes. Something's different where they're able to pick up that it's not a fastball and they're able to take it. Now, I may, I may work on a bullpen, or a bullpen session and throw change-ups, and I may think that it's not all that effective. But then I get in the game, and for some reason, that particular grip or arm motion is getting a lot of hitters to chase the ball in the dirt. I may not have thought it was a good change-up, but when I throw it in the game, I actually see live hitters, and they struggle with that pitch. So the point is, practice a change-up, work on those grips, but you've got to throw it in the game in order to properly develop it. Now, here's a word for coaches. Coaches, a lot of you call pitches for your team. Now you're in an ethical dilemma. If you know your pitcher needs to develop a changeup, meaning they have to throw it in the game, how often are you going to call it? If you have a key situation in that game, let's say a one ball, no strike count on their best hitter, that is a great time for a changeup. But if you know your pitcher on the mound is still developing a changeup and maybe doesn't have a great one yet, are you going to call that changeup? There's no clear cut answer, okay? You can make a rationale for both. It's a key game, big moment. I want him to throw his best pitch. Changeup's not good yet. I don't call a changeup. Another coach may say, this is just Little League. I'm here to develop players. I know it's a key situation, but at some time in the future, that pitcher has to develop a changeup. Even though it's likely not to be a good one, I'm still gonna call that change up because it's about development. Hey, there's no right or wrong answers. You choose what you wanna do, but there is a difference between practicing a change up and developing a change up. And you have to get your pitchers to throw it in a game if you truly want them to develop a change up. Hey folks, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, do me a favor and share this with three people. Share it with someone that you know is gonna like it. Share it with a second person that you know that needs to hear it. And a third person that you think, hey, maybe they are not gonna like it. Share it with them anyway. One of the problems in baseball is kids are not learning these little things about the game and baseball IQ has never been at the lows that it is now. So please help me share these videos to improve the knowledge of baseball, particularly among the young levels, and raise that baseball IQ. I'm Coach McCreary from BaseballByTheYard.com. Go to that website for all tips in all areas of the game. I appreciate your time. Take care, everybody, and I am out.